So I'm starting this video here with the sun going down right in front of me, just on the harbour wall which wraps its way around Porta Portales Marina. It's a location of many beautiful super yachts. We're going to take a walk past these. We're going to check out the reno renovations that have also taken place down here. But wherever you're staying on the southwest of the island, you can quite easily get the TIB bus over here. They've got plenty of parking too. You get an hour free as well. That's a top tip. But we've also got a great choice in restaurants too. I suspect the prices might be a bit crazy over here. We're going to go and check them out. But for now, let's turn the camera around. Let's check out the sunset and let's take a walk around into Porta Portales. And I'm not the only one out walking this evening. We've got a few people out taking a stroll along the harbour wall. Let's head on down. Now, last time I came down here, they had considerable building works taking place and considerable renovations. That's all been completed. And I'm walking straight towards what looks like a very exclusive lobster club. Let's go and have a little look. Now, during the day, it's going to be obviously a lot different to, to what we'll see this evening but we can just see the top end of the Lobster Club here. I think you can come and rent some barley beds for the day. I'm guessing it's going to be a little bit expensive, a little bit exclusive. I'll drop some prices onto the screen here if you want to grab a bed down here for the day. But check out the views too. Now you're not going to get the evening sunset from the Lobster Club here, but you, during the day you are going to get views across the beach as well, over towards Ilietes in the distance, over towards Palma. and it is absolutely lovely. Anyway, let's come down from the wall here and let's take a walk around by the restaurants. So we're just coming down from the Lobster Club here. I might just quickly run up these steps here. Let's just catch the very last of the sunset. And I'm not the only person doing the same thing either. And just to give you a few views over the beach, I can still see the people going into the sea. You can see there's a ship heading out of the port too. But look, the sun has just about gone from over here. Anyway, let's head on down to where we'll find the restaurants and we'll be back to check out the beach on another day so don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already we'll find out what this lovely resort is like during the day too so we're just coming up by the little sailing school here i do know you can rent kayaks and they have a summer school as well for kids to take out um, little boats as well seems to rem remember my daughter doing something like this a few summers ago just right above as well, the Biwi brands, which we've seen a little bit further down the coast, they do have a restaurant too. They've got the Suspongia restaurant overlooking Porto Portales Beach. And as we come into Porto Portales, I've seen our very first Rolls Royce. You don't often get Rolls Royces over here on the island, but um, if you're going to find any kind of nice car, well, I guess you're going to find it over here in Porto Portales. Now new as well for this year, it may even be new from last year, it's been that long since I've been down here. They have actually pedestrianised the waterfront here. We've got the very first of the restaurants we can see right in front of me here and these run all along the side of the harbour. Now what a difference to make this actually pedestrianised. Of course we've got a lot of yacht charter companies along here too. Just see, we've got Princess Yachts and Argo Yachting to my right-hand side. Plus, some very exclusive shops too. Obviously catering for, for the clientele that come to moor their yachts over here in the marina.
Now at the far end of Porta Portales we've got some slightly smaller yachts here, some power boats. We're not going to see the much bigger super yachts until a little bit further on in the marina. We're just coming up to the first restaurant here, we've got Spoon. I'm going to just drop the menu on the screen here, you can see what restaurant prices are like down here. Also coming up past Lucy Wang, which is, looks like a very nice kind of uh, wine bar too. And check out the views as well that we've got in front of us of the port. So we have a few chain brands over here as well. Look, we've got the Diablito restaurant. There's actually one over in Porta P, so I think that would be somewhere a little bit more affordable to eat over here if you are coming down for some food. But Porta Portales over the years has attracted many celebrities, politicians, singers and artists, and I've seen the legendary Peter Stringfellow down here as well. We're just coming up towards Welly's restaurant on the far corner. I remember seeing him down here on a few occasions when I first moved to the island as well. And a variety of soap stars too, particularly from Brookside for some reason. I've also seen Pauline Quirk down here. You see, I'm name, I'm name dropping now. I also had a friend too who was a, a photographer for a national newspaper. And I think he saw Bill Clinton down here too. I think he got punched by one of their bodyguards. Um, but yeah, over the years, Porta Portales has attracted the high society and it continues to do so now. Just looking out to the water, you can see that the yachts are getting just a little bit bigger as we're coming along. I'm just coming up past Ritzy. That name does make me laugh, actually. It's the name of a, a, a Nottingham nightclub I seem to remember going to when I was at university. But you can see we've got quite a few people who have been out here enjoying the sunset from over here. The sun has now gone down right in front of me. But look, a lot of people here out for the evening. Now we are in the location of a very popular Christmas market. I'm sure I'll be down here over the winter. Right, we've got the menu board here, which I can discreetly go and check out. We're outside Ritzy. Pasta dishes range from, actually, do you know what? It's not too bad. Um, from around 17 euros 50. A larger portion is about 25 euros. I didn't expect it to be a lot more expensive. You can get a main course over here for around 25 to 38 euros. It's not too bad, I have to say. And I hear they've got some music playing in there as well. I think they've got some live music. So it looks really, really super nice, actually. I think if you're coming over from the United States, you're not going to find these prices too crazy. Let's just walk through the location of the market that we have running over here during the summer months. Normally during August, they have a, a market open for a couple of days a week and of the Christmas market as well. The Christmas market normally starts at some point, I think it's mid-December, it rolls into the Three Kings. We have a huge Three Kings event, which is like Spanish Christmas, down here on the 6th of January too, so definitely worth coming down to check this out when it's on. Like I said, I will be down here to see what it's like over the winter months. But anyway, look, you can see another fantastic selection of restaurants down here too. And we're just coming up to a manjar. I don't know if it's a, an Indian restaurant. Let's have a quick look. Sounds like it should be. Just to give you an idea of prices, 27 euros for a main. It's not an Indian restaurant. Cold dishes. We have pickled mussels, 14 euros from the grill. Around 27 euros for some grilled meat as well. Can't say it's extortionally expensive whatsoever. It's kind of uh, averagely priced, which is actually really, really good to see. But what you are paying for down here is going to be the mooring costs. For your super yacht, if you are coming in on your yacht, they run into the hundreds of euros per night. It may well even be creeping towards a thousand euros a night mooring costs on what has to be one of Mallorca's most exclusive marinas. Anyway, let's keep heading along. We're gonna go and check out some of the bigger super yachts. So come on, let's go and check out the rest of Porta Portales this evening.
So right on the top here, I can see look at the, an outside bar as well and the terrace looking out. Got some nice tunes playing out too. And we're just coming up towards Wellies, the very famous Wellies over here in Porta Portals. I seem to remember they used to do some very nice steak here as well. I haven't eaten here for absolutely years. Maybe one time I'll come and give it a try. So we're coming into the area here where they have the whole Three Kings parade, where the Three Kings arrive on the eve of Three Kings Day down here in Porta Portals. It's a time actually you see a lot of residents coming down to this very exclusive area. But in summer, like we can see to my right hand side, we do have the yachting crowd out eating this evening. And my goodness me, just check out the views from here. It's just coming up past Flanagan's, another lovely restaurant. And we're heading towards Yara. So I'm just standing outside Yarra in Port Hales and I'm going to put a menu board up on the screen here. Obviously this area is very different to many other places you'll find on the island. Got no signs over here saying two for the price of one or a menu del dia. I don't think really money's so much of an object over here. And this particular restaurant as well, it only opens on the evening. So from, from Monday through to Sunday at 6.30 at night till midnight as well so they have a limited opening and it's very much a local restaurant as well for these huge super yachts that are down here on the far side of the marina so as i mentioned in i think some of my earlier videos that if you're not working in tourism over here you're probably working in yachting either crewing these yachts or, or working even down in the marinas as well they're huge employers over here and they, they pay extortionately well too, my goodness me. But this is just to give you an idea of what this area is like. It's very, very exclusive. It's very nice and it's also very expensive. And just looking down the coast here, we're just literally around the corner here from Palma Nova. You can actually see Magaluf way off in the distance. And Porta Portales is also home to another lovely little beach here, just down the side. We've also got Marine Land, the very controversial Marine Land straight ahead too, as well as a few beach clubs. We also have Portales now as well, which is the main village up here, way back, way back up from Porta Portales. I'll take a walk up through that over the winter at some point, I'm sure. But for now, as the sun starts to fade and darkness falls, thank you very much for watching. Now, I can't believe actually how busy it still is over in Porto Port Hales. I, I can imagine it was super busy here over the summer months too, over July and August during a peak season. But I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back here soon over the winter months as well, where we're going to see a completely different atmosphere. So don't forget to consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. I shall be back. Don't forget also you can find me on the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called Mallorca Under the Sun and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.